HTTP request. So in this JMeter beginners tutorial, we would be learning about this that how we can say, generate a HTTP request. So this is pretty simple as well. Let us just quickly start it. And here, what needs to be done is in this JMeter window, we need to do few things. For example, first of all, we need to add a thread group. Thread group is something which is replicated as user group. It replicates users. Now here in this thread group, we need to add a sampler, a sampler of type HTTP request. Sampler is something which replicates user action. Thread group replicates users, sampler replicates user action, right? So this is a HTTP request. We can send in the request the same way the request is sent to a C server from browser, right? So right now it is mimicking itself as a browser, right? So we can pro uh, pro say specify a few things. For example, the protocol. So protocol is HTTPS, right? Okay, let me just keep it as HTTP right now, right? So the server name is www.google.co.in, right? Now, whenever there is a protocol HTTP, the default port number is 80. Whenever the protocol is HTTPS, the default port number is 443. So let us just go with HTTPS and we have provided this, right? Now, this is a simple request. So I can name this as Google home right i can specify these things apart from that there are other things as well that is http request method the path the content encoding type and the query string parameters right so over here this is specified now let me just run this and before that i would be adding something which would allow me to see the results and i'm adding a listener it listens to the request generated by a user and it listens to the responses as well so it shows us everything if i run this you can see that i'm clicking on no right now i don't want to save this file but the moment it executes you can see that this is a result right if i go to response data it has shown something to us like this all we have to do is that need to click on the option html and th this is the page that you can see right this is almost the almost the same page that we see in the browser right it would be a little bit different let me just choose the option HTML download resources. That would be better. And it looks something like this apart from the blue color, right? Now over here, we can generate another request. Now, why am I generating another request? So, so that we can say have things which show us that say how we can specify parameters as well. So say I can name this one as see Google search. right the protocol is again https so https the server name is www.google.co.in the port number is 443 this needs to be remembered right and the next thing that is the path so here we need to specify the path search right but you might be confused that how am I getting to know about these things, right? I'll just show you right now. And the next thing that is the request method. So I would be adding the method as get only. Let us just add some query string parameters. And the parameter is this, that is Q. And we have the data, Apache, space. Now whenever we need to specify a space, we need to specify a plus mark, J meter, right? Now this is done. Let me just run this. And you would notice that this is executing well, right? Both of the executions are done well. And you can notice the results that it is showing us these things, right? Everything is shown. All the results are shown over here, right? Everything is listed over here, right? You can see that it is looking for Apache J meter. Now, over here, let me just provide the same request. So this is what we have searched for. And this is the complete URL. I'm copying this URL which has been generated. And I would be opening it in a browser. Right? So, over here I would be providing this URL that we have copied. And I'll open this. And you can see that this is the same page that we're getting to see. Right? So, this is how you can work with the HTTP request in JMeter. Thank you.